We're going to talk about how we do something like this. Now, I'm streaming right now using OBS, standard OBS, and I'm going to do the demo in Streamlabs OBS so that I can screen cap it. Everything you can, everything I'm going to show you can do in both streaming programs. So basically what you're looking at here is we've got a video looping in the background with a semi-transparent image in front of it. We can set up this text and throw in a graphic on top in the layers in OBS. And basically you can see that if I turn the background image, you can see there's my video loop there. So basically what you can see here is there's an, a semi-transparent image over a video loop. Okay, so the question is, where do we grab a video loop? There is a YouTube channel with a bunch of royalty-free video loops. And here they are right here, VJ loops, okay. And you can see they're in the description, free VJ loops right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to another monitor. Now you don't have to do this. You could maximize it in the background if you don't have a second monitor. I'm gonna maximize it so it fills the screen. I'm actually gonna go here in Streamlabs and I've set up a scene. You're just gonna make a, a scene where you're capturing a display. Now, if, you, if you're on a single monitor, you could do this where you um, capture a window. But for me, I'm gonna capture a display. Okay, and then I'm gonna start it playing and then I'm going to hit the record button in Streamlabs and I'm going to record a couple minutes of this. Okay, that should about do it. So I'm gonna stop recording. Now I've got a recording of this. I'm actually gonna, what I'm gonna do is set up a new scene. So this is gonna be our um, tutorial starting soon. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and import that. I'm gonna add a media source and we're gonna say add the source and we're gonna say add a new source and we're gonna call it looping video. And now it's asking us to find it. Main thing is here, you wanna click loop. Okay, make sure it's on loop. I'm going to browse and grab that video that we just created. Okay, so now we wanna go and get our, our second layer. So I would normally use Photoshop, but what I wanna show you is how, even if you're not a graphic designer, you can do this stuff. So I'm actually gonna use Photopea. And we're going to open the image. Now, again, you, we're assuming you've got an image or someone made one for you or you made one yourself. So whatever image someone would have given you would just be one layer here in the layer side. It would just be a, a regular image. Let's copy this layer. You can drag it down to the little page. We made a copy of it and we'll throw the background away. Why am I doing that? Can't make the background itself transparent until you turn it into a layer. So I've got to make sure I've turned it into a layer. Now I can adjust the opacity. So I'm going to turn it all the way down to like 70%. Then I'm going to export it as a PNG file and we're going to save it. When you do stuff like that in Photopea, it's going to um, put it in your downloads folder. Now you could move that wherever you want, folder for the project you're doing or whatever you wanted. Now what I wanna do is I wanna layer that over the top of this looping background. So I'm gonna go right here, I'm going to add an image. Okay, and we want to add a new source instead because we're not adding one we already have and we're gonna call it BG image going to add that and then we got to go grab that image and again we said it was in our downloads directory there it is right there and we're done and now as you can see we've got our background image over the top of that animated background if it didn't come out quite the way you like you might want to go back to photopea and play with the transparency settings. Maybe you want it a little more opaque or a little more transparent. It's really gonna depend on the background you picked and what you want. But for right now, I think that looks pretty good. Now all there is left to do is throw on top of here some of our other stuff. So let's, let's put a logo in here. All right, so we're going to add a new source. We're gonna call this 
done logo. And I'm going to navigate over to that folder. And then we're going to kind of center it. So there we go. It's about centered. Yeah. So I'm going to add some text to this. And we're going to add a new source. And we're going to call it starting soon. The stream is starting. And then let's see if we can find that fork yeah right there right there buddy now there's some other stuff we can do with this i'm going to leave it white we can put a outline around it and you can see it's changing i want to change the color of the outline to black i'm going to make that outline heavier i'm going to make this text just a little bigger i want to make it Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. And you could add anything you wanted in here. You could put your social media links by way of putting in another image. Uh, you could put, and so now that I've got that, there's my starting soon. I could come down here and duplicate this. Okay, and when I duplicate it, let's call it B, right, back. And now I've got another one. But now here's the thing, you gotta be really careful. If I change this text, it's gonna change it in both places. The text is an instance of this one. So we wanna make sure we pay attention to this step. So I'm gonna to go to the Be Right Back screen and I'm going to copy this, okay? And now I'm going to paste a duplicate instead of a reference. So that one is my duplicate. The one underneath we're gonna get rid of. And I'm gonna remove that from the scene and grab this and put it down here. So let's uh, let's change it to B right back. Okay, and we're gonna center that up. Now I got my B right back screen. So I've got a starting soon and a B right back. And then we would repeat that process, make another duplicate, have our the stream is ending screen. So pretty simple guys, pretty simple.